Is the carnivore diet healthy? I'd be the first person to say, absolutely. As many of you know, three years ago, I spent 13 days in the hospital with a ruptured appendix and a slew of complications. And when I left the hospital, the only thing that my digestive system actually agreed with was meat. And so for nine months, post being hospitalized for 13 days, I embraced the carnivore diet. And I'll be honest, I really, really missed vegetables. And so I was slowly able to reintegrate them into my diet. But what we know about the carnivore diet is it can be profoundly anti-inflammatory. It can be low fiber, low residue, and can be very easy for your digestive system to break down and assimilate. Now, I do think that it's helpful during specific times. Obviously for me, I needed some digestive rest. Um, if you're going through a lot of inflammation, you're dealing with an autoimmune issue, you and your healthcare provider have agreed that a carnivore diet is a good next step for you. I think it can be profoundly therapeutic. We know it can be helpful for the gut microbiome. It can be helpful for reducing inflammation. I do find, however, that as your body is able to assimilate break down and tolerate fibrous vegetables, low glycemic berries, grains if you tolerate them. I think it's completely fine to do a modified carnivore diet or certainly, you know, keto carnivore. You see a lot of people that are doing higher fat with some carnivore diets. You've seen people that are doing carnivore-ish. And really what it comes down to is bioindividuality. Ultimately, we are trying to find the best nutrition that works the best with our bodies. And there's no one size fits all philosophy. There are a lot of my friends in the carnivore space that are doing beautifully on carnivore, but I myself really enjoy vegetables. And so for me, after nine months, I slowly started returning some of those vegetables back into my diet, but it took about 18 months to be able to tolerate cruciferous vegetables like Brussels sprouts, which are something I really enjoy. So there's no one size fits all, but let me know in the comments below if you've tried the carnivore diet and how well it has worked for you or not.